One punch and head kick knockouts are for kids. The hardcore fans want to see Superman punches and rolling thunder kicks flying all over the cage to experience the shock and awe of moments they don't see coming. But since such moves are extremely difficult to pull off, they happen once in a lifetime. In today's video, we are bringing you the rarest knockouts in MMA history, and we are sure you haven't seen some of these before. Wandile Hlwanga vs Torbjorn Madsen Longwa isn't far from a household name in MMA, but in 2019, he enjoyed quite a lot of success and fame after pulling off a knockout of the year contender. Shakebone, as he's otherwise known, butchered his opponent Torbjorn Madsen just over a minute into their fight at EFC 75. Shakebone landed a five-strike combo in two seconds to sleep his opponent. He started with a 1-2, followed by a thunderbolt of a spinning back hellbow, followed by two super unnecessary shots to win the fight. Mark Abelardo versus Emilio Uridia. The downward 12-16 or tomahawk elbow is a seriously devastating move, which a fighter executes by chopping downwards in a 12-6 motion. Now, the move is banned in most MMA promotions, including the UFC, but one championship allows it. In 2021, Philippines Mark Abelardo executed it to perfection against Emilio Uridia in their featherweight bout at one Fist of Fury 2. After a round and a half of exciting back and forth action, Abelardo came in flying with a tomahawk elbow that sliced his opponent's chin to send him to a place where time doesn't exist. Now, the move is sensational in and of itself but it was the Filipino fighter's execution that made it a lot more eye-catching. Oh, it is definitely a 10 out of 10 as far as rare knockouts are concerned. Lyoto Machida vs. Randy Couture When Lyoto Machida faced Randy Couture at UFC 129, he was in a pickle after having lost his last two fights. The Brazilian desperately needed a win, and he secured it with one of the most iconic knockouts in history. Machida threw a number of feints, which Couture heavily bid on for the first six minutes of their fight. A minute into the second round, however, the dragon took a leap and exhaled fire in the form of a flying front kick that slept Couture. It was no ordinary front kick, it was the crane kick popularized by the 1984 movie The Karate Kid. <laughs> Gary Goodridge vs. Paul Herrera Gary Goodridge will hardly go down in history as a great fighter. He had a very unimpressive record of 23 wins and 22 losses in MMA, but his victory against Paul Herrera in his MMA debut at UFC 8 will forever remain one of the rarest finishes in combat sports history. Seconds into their fight, Goodridge caught Herrera in a reverse crucifix position and unleashed a series of brutal elbows on his helpless opponent until he was out cold. Not only is Goodrich's KO rare, but it is also one of the most violent finishes in the history of mixed martial arts. Oh my, elbows in number! Davy Gallant vs. Ross Pearson 2019 was a fantastic year for Francis Davy Gallant, who took his career to another level with a jaw-dropping and high-flying knockout of UFC veteran Ross Pearson. The fight took place in England, and right off the bat, Davy used his acrobatic fighting style to good use punishing Pearson before deciding to finish the job with a rolling thunder kick. Nearly a half a minute before the end of the third round, Gallon shifted his weight onto his front foot while in the middle of the cage, took off and rolled in the air before whacking Pearson in the head with his foot. Pearson was out before he knew it. With a body Oh, oh shit! My. Oh my god! Christoph Glowacki versus Patrick Tolkaszewski when pro boxer Christoph Glowacki made his mixed martial arts debut against Patrick at KSW 83 in June 2023, many were expecting him to get blown away by his opponent. Still, he ended up pulling off the unthinkable. Tolkaszewski unsurprisingly went for an early takedown and immediately secured full mount. At that point, it seemed as if it was only a matter of time before Glowacki was finished, but the pro boxer had other ideas. Now, surviving a full mount is already a tough ask, but imagine knocking your opponent out cold off of your back with a crushing left hook. That is Hollywood stuff, and that is what Glowacki pulled off, a rabbit out of his hat to knock his opponent out from a terrible position. You don't see knockouts as cool as this one every day. <laughs> Edson Barbosa versus Terry Edom. Edson Barbosa is a highlight reel machine, and it truly sucks that he failed to reach his true potential. 
In his younger years, the Brazilian was knocking people out with head, body, and leg kicks, and his list of vanquished foes includes some of the toughest names in the sport. None had it worse than poor Terry Edom, however. When the Englishman fought Barbosa in 2012, the Brazilian first ruined him with leg kicks before knocking him out with a wheel kick that graces the UFC highlight reels to this day. Take a chance and risk getting knocked out! Oh my god! Matt Hughes versus Carlos Newton. Imagine knocking your opponent out cold without even realizing it. That is exactly what Matt Hughes experienced when he challenged Carlos Newton for the welterweight title at UFC 34. In the second round of their fight, Hughes secured a takedown but was locked in a deep triangle choke. In an attempt to pull out of the chokehold, Hughes stood up with the submission hold in place. Seconds later, Hughes was out and crashed onto the canvas, leading to a slam that would also shut Newton's lights out. Hughes woke up sooner than Newton and was awarded the win, although he had no idea what had happened. <laughs> Joaquin Buckley vs. Impa Kasangane In 2020, COVID and Joaquin Buckley were two of the most popular phenomenons in the fight world. COVID because it disrupted some high-level fights, including Habib vs. Tony Ferguson, and Joaquin Buckley because he produced a knockout that would literally break the internet. Buckley only needed one chance to turn into a star overnight. In their middleweight fight in 2020, Buckley and Impa Kasangane traded blows in a fairly competitive fight, until Buckley threw a left kick that left Kasangane caught, which proved to be a big mistake. Instead of trying to free his left leg from Kasangane's grip, Buckley shocked the world by going for a sharp back kick that landed on his face with such force that he was frozen for a moment before crashing onto the canvas. So even on total strikes at the moment. Oh! Jorge Masvidal versus Ben Askren. Flying knee knockouts are definitely not as rare as some other moves on this list, but a flying knee only five seconds into the fight definitely is. When Jorge Masvidal faced fierce rival Ben Askren in a welterweight fight at UFC 239, tempers were flaring thanks to Askren boom-roasting Masvidal every now and then. Masvidal quietly endured his opponent running his mouth a bit too much and promised to do his talking inside the cage. As soon as the referee signaled the start of the bout, Masvidal took a few steps forward and then charged at Askren like a raging bull. Askren's wrestling instincts kicked in, and he level changed to go for a takedown, lowering his head just enough to eat the meanest flying knee in MMA history. The Olympian was out in an instant, but Masvidal still landed a couple of super necessary punches because, well, why not? Clock is brought to you by oh! Anthony Pettis versus Steven Thompson. Superman punches are very rare in MMA because they are high risk and high reward, but fortune always favors the brave. When Anthony Pettis moved up to welterweight after an unsuccessful run at lightweight, he was matched up against Stephen Thompson, a stylistic nightmare for Showtime. For as long as the fight lasted, Thompson was in control, bullying Pettis and pressing him against the cage to outstrike him. With his back firmly against the wall, however, Pettis decided to pull out an Uno reversal on Thompson, lunging forward with a huge Superman punch that crushed Wonderboy's chin and took his first nap in MMA. <laughs> Yair Rodriguez versus the Korean Zombie. Now, when it comes to the goats of rare knockouts, Yair Rodriguez's knockout over the Korean Zombie definitely deserves the top spot and by a good margin. First of all, the reverse elbow that defied the laws of physics is definitely something we will never see again. But what makes it even more special is the fact that it was right on the final buzzer, and had Rodriguez not gone for broke, he would have lost by unanimous decision. And their featherweight headliner in 2018, Rodriguez and the Korean Zombie went to war and had fans on the edge of their seats throughout. It was non-stop action from start to finish as both landed big shots. The South Korean star landed the bigger ones and seconds before the end of the fifth and final round, it seemed as if he was well on his way to a victory until Yair gave it a final go. With 10 seconds remaining, Rodriguez threw the kitchen sink at his opponent, ducking under his punch and coming up with a devastating elbow from the craziest of angles to knock his opponent out cold. One more flurry! Oh! Wow! So which knockout do you guys like the most? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and if you want to watch more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.